Welcome to lecture three. In this video, we're going to create the basic project structure and load the required libraries so that we can show a simple web page in your web browser. In Visual Studio Code, we can see our project structure. We have created a JS folder which will contain two JavaScript files. For now, they are empty, but in the following videos, we will fill those up with programming code to clean the data. Right now you should create an index.html file, which will be the entry point for your web page and the online dashboard. Once you've created the HTML file, you can type HTML and then choose five to create a full template of a working HTML document. Here you see the full HTML file that we will use for this module. In Visual Studio Code, you will see here two script lines, which will load the Plotly and done for js library from an online source using a CDN network. You can check on the website of the libraries to check if there are new versions available and then update the following link. Another thing that you see here is that we included a script link to load the main.js JavaScript file, which for now is still empty, but which will start running the code for cleaning the data. While the web page doesn't do anything, we can already go live with the live server and check what the website looks like. Click go live to open the browser and see the almost empty web page. For now, it's good to know that we can open an inspector, which contains a console, where we can type JavaScript to play around with the Donfo.js library. To see that the Donfo library is indeed loaded, we can type dfd and find that this module exists. In the next video, we're going to look at creating a data dictionary.